Hello everybody. So we thought we were being clever by shooting a few videos in advance. <laughs> the one we have right now that's following this disclaimer <laughs> is almost felt like a commercial to a product that we didn't realize they weren't selling anymore or making anymore. Pozu is the company we're referring to. Yes. And their shoe company, they made they had the license with Lucasfilm to make Star Wars shoes that were featured in the sequel trilogy yeah. as well as products for us and, and cosplayers maybe like yourself to purchase they've been making them for quite a while about five years run and we didn't realize that their license expired january 1st of this year 2021 <laughs> we shot this following video on our holiday break so yeah. we, we we shot three <laughs> videos for 2021 in the last week of 2020 so, so what we're saying is we didn't know <laughs> So in other words, yeah. You can I no mean, longer really find these items on their site. Right. Uh, so we we hope that you're not here to, uh, to to shop for those products. But if you are here for Star Wars footwear, uh, Magnolia Clothiers, magnoliasclothiers.com, link in the description, no affiliation. They make a lot of cosplay products that I purchase for like my Han Solo um, I'm putting a, Mando, a Mandalorian cosplay together. Yeah. So I ordered Mandalorian boots from them. And I had ordered Han Solo boots from them. So they're expensive. But so is Pozu. Pozu was about $300 or so for a good boot that looked like a cosplay. Magnolia's, yeah. I, I mean, feel like they're looking to 200 do, or more. But yeah, if you're investing. If you're investing, if you're looking to do a screen accurate cosplay, <clears throat> if you're looking to join the Rebel Legion or the 501st or whatever it is, you know, you're going to be investing in these things and it's going to probably last you forever. <laughs> so, save, so save your pennies. Yeah. And um, in, if enjoyed this video that um, shouldn't be taken as a commercial anymore, I'm probably going to sprinkle some disclaimer words saying had instead of have so <laughs> it's for entertainment purposes only yes but pozu is still a great company pozu is a great company they have a lot of other shoes and who knows maybe they will come back yeah. with another star wars license who knows yeah. but right now no no good maybe so on ebay I don't know. Yeah, maybe on eBay. Maybe you, you could maybe search. look on eBay. Maybe people still have. Oh, also, look at Etsy sell. if you're looking to put a cosplay together. Look at yeah. Etsy because you never know. Search. Keyword search. Search the interwebs. Enjoy this video <laughs> that is not a commercial. We're rebel scum today. <laughs> this shirt, scum. by the way, is from. Uh, Heroes and villains, but that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is what's inside this box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Wait, what's in the box? I know what's in the box, but yep. you don't know what's in the box. I know what's in the box. Yeah. You don't know what's in the box. Yeah. But you read the title, so you probably do know what's in the box. Yeah. Pozu. Yeah. Pozu is a London-based company. They are known for making Star Wars themed shoes, and I believe they actually made the shoes worn on screen in the sequel trilogy. Yes, if you go back to our uh, Back to Bounding blogs, you will see some of those boots featured as we both have some. Poe Dameron boots right here. And um, great material. They're, they're about $300 or so. Yes. Um, it says Star Wars and Pozu right there. And uh, They're very comfy, very, very comfortable. So, not only do they make all the Star Wars filmed uh, footwear, but they also make sneakers uh, and not just Star Wars, they have other stuff as well, too. They just happen to have a Star Wars section featured on their site. Uh, but these were on sale, so I wanted to pick these up, and they really should be cool. Fancy paper. Ooh. Ooh, they even have it on the tag. All right, check that out. Pozu label, also on the back there. Organic cotton, coconut fiber foot mattress. That's what's on the inside of the boots as well. These were uh, originally like 80 bucks and they were having a sale. I think they ordered these are right after Christmas, like the day after Christmas. Uh, and I got the sale was about 20 bucks. Uh, it's 15 uh, British pounds, so if you translate that, uh, it's about $20 US. Very excited to try these on. And yeah, ooh, the bottoms 
Nice bottoms too. Oh, nice. By the way, this is not a sponsor. We just share the things that we love and not that we sponsor. use. Not a sponsor. We just really love Pozu shoes because they are really comfortable. Um, I have a pair of Ray boots. Yeah, let's show them those. While she gets the Ray boots for you, I am drinking some coffee in a Mandalorian mug. Oh, there they go. Ray boots. These are the gray linen edition of them. There are a couple different styles. Uh, they have some higher, almost knee-length knee boots as well. And there's there's memory foam as well. Yeah, well, it's not it's it's not memory foam per se. It's, but it makes your feet feel nice. It's comfy. Yes, the way that they are built is very comfy. These go by European sizes, so you have to look at their size chart so you know what size you are. Um, I happen to know that I'm a 37 European size. I have a pretty big foot. Both of them, 13, triple E, wide. For reference, I am a seven and a half size shoe and- US size is what we're US talking. US size and the European size is a size 37. So 37 for you. For and seven and a half. I want to say this is about 47 for myself. Oh, 46. Okay, interesting. Your size what? Your size what? It depends on the shoe. Like, I'm often a 13, a US 13. The this one worked out. The size 37, um, it also leaves like another like quarter inch for, you know, just room for your toes so you're not like squashed in there. From what I remember reading somewhere, I think it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Pozu, the name of their company, is inspired by a Japanese word meaning to pause, uh, meaning uh, they want to give your feet a time to pause, a time to rest uh, because they're so comfy on the inside. Uh, again, they are made with organically grown cotton, so no pesticides, all that junk. And the foot mattress, as they call it, is made from coconut fiber. It's 60% coconut husk and 40% natural rubber, so it can kind of mold to the shape of your foot and uh, provides uh, air circulation, so it makes them very comfy and uh, very easy to wear. We love Pozu. They are great. I want to show you guys because I forgot. I haven't worn these in so long. I was trying to get my feet in here. Unzip these, and you could unvelcro this, and then you could stick your big foot inside. <laughs> now they fit. Like a glove. Thanks for watching our video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We'll eventually get back to theme parks. We'll eventually get back to conventions like Star Wars Celebration and Comic Con and all those other great places to be so with, many with everyone else. Yeah less than six feet apart. <laughs> we'll get there. Thumbs are helpful, and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that red button on the homepage and click that bell. It notifies you every time we post a brand new video. May the geek ends be with you.